Hi guys, so this is a quick spinal mobility. We're going to be focusing on easing into the back, getting some nice movement into our spines, looking at our flexion extension and some rotational work. It's going to be around 20 minutes. Um, it won't be much longer than that. It's going to be a quick injection of some lovely work just to ease up through the back body and start breathing and creating some fluidity within your spine. I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start standing here and I want us to do some roll downs working into the flexion and the extension of the spine. So we're going to inhale, draw the arms up and overhead. Or to exhale, interlace the fingers, press the back of the head into the hands. So there's a resistance into the back of the neck and engagement through the, the back muscles. And we're going to begin to curl the spine all the way down. Nice and slow. Releasing towards the ground, keeping this active, this active work into the back of the head. Then from here, pull the lower belly up, we're going to actively extend through the spine, keeping lifted into the lower, uh, into the lower abdominals. And then we're going to slowly release back down. Curl forward, elbows towards the belly as you unravel back up through your back. Good. So we're working actively straight away. Inhale, extend the spine up. And then we're going to exhale, reverse, curl forward. Rounding through the back here. We need to move down through the body. Good. You can bend the knees if you need. We need to extend the spine up. Pull up the lower abdominals, draw the elbows high, lift up through the upper chest, exhale, and sit down. And then unravel like you're being pulled up from your waistline. Fantastic. We're going to do two more of these. And exhale, really forward. Again, try and keep this uh, pressure between the head and the hands as this will begin to protect into the neck. And it's going to start to activate into the deep neck flexors. So you're not compressing or over flexing into the neck. And instead what you're beginning to do is you're beginning to actively work into the rest of your spine, specifically that upper back. Good. One more time from here, we're going to release forward. And this time I want you to allow the arms to drop. Good. We're going to place the fingertips onto the floor, bending the knees if you need in order to get there. We're going to draw the spine up, this time keeping the hands in contact. And I want you to begin to slowly extend your right arm up. And then release it down. Extend the spine, rotate to the left. And then release down. Good. You can take a gentle bend into the knees if it's more accessible for you. And you can even start to bend the opposite knee to create a little bit more rotation. As you go through this movement, so you're bending that right knee through the left arm. And then down. Good, extend and bend. You're going to do two more rotations. Extend and bend. Fantastic, and release. From here, I want to slowly begin to draw the chest up. We're going to start to walk the hands forward. We're going to come into a plank position. Now, all I want you to do is I'm going to start to activate a little bit into the back. I want you to lower the knees down. Step your hands underneath your shoulders. Your knees underneath your hips, keep your toes tucked. And from here, we're just going to take some gentle cat cows. But I want you to be very aware of how you do this. So we're not just dumping the back and flexing. Again, I want you to think about really lifting the tailbone, opening the chest up and towards the sky, keeping the lower belly lifted so we're not collapsing into that lower back. And then begin to um, flex into the lower back, creating a nice posterior tilt and allowing this movement or this rounding to travel all the way up the spine. It's almost like we're doing little mini spinal waves with the back to move down and into our cat pads. Fantastic. Two more of these. Again, keeping the, the space between the belly button and the pubic bone really active up and in. So we're drawing in underneath that navel. navel. Good. Good. Then we're going to reverse. We're going to sink in the chest first, draw the chest forward, and then feel how this ripples down and towards the back. And then we're going to round and draw it. Good. We're going to sink. Draw the chest forward. And then we're going to round. You feel how it begins to travel back there. Two more. Good. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Feel how it moves towards the lower belly. And then press. And back up. Fantastic. From here, return to your neutral position. 
So I want you to feel a nice release of the shoulder blades, not collapsing, but we're not overly round or contracted. We're going to tap the, the, tap the toes and just hold the knees off the ground. And from here, I just want you to slowly shift back and forth. So we're beginning to build a little bit of shoulder warmth, maybe opening into those shoulders, maybe beginning to lengthen the left, sit the butt back and forward, shifting back and forward. Good, again, if you need, you can keep the knees on the floor for this. Really nice. Good. And then from here, I want you to begin to maybe sit back, you know, extend into a down dog. And then we're going to work foot forward and top plank. Sit back, lift up into a down dog. And then we're going to forward. A few more times, sit back, lift up. And then we're going to forward, sit back, lift up. And then we're going to forward. Good, from here we can sit back. Bend the knees, we're going to forward. Sit back. Bend the knees and we're up forward. So we're beginning to move in the opposite direction now. Extend, flex, and neutral. Good. Gentle extension, gentle flexion as you roll up forward. Good. A few more. Your arms and your back should be beginning to feel quite warm now. Last time, sitting back. Extend from here. I want to plant the hands down. We're going to press the shoulders away from the ground. So you're really lifting up through the, or lifting away from your earth through the arms. So in this, if I turn to face you, you don't want to feel like you're winging out or collapsing. You want to be wrapping those arms in. And I want you to press away. So you're really reaching, drawing that head as far from the ground as you can. And as you do this, pull the lower belly in, pull the ribs in. So feel this really strongly into the arms, the backs of the arms, the triceps, the shoulders, everything is working in this variation of down dog. Good. Send the heels towards the ground. Pull the lower belly up and just breathe here. Now if you need, you can place knees on the floor. Otherwise, we're going to stay on down dog. And I want you just to begin to lift that right leg up towards the step. Nice and long. Now, if, you're, if you do need to put the knee on the floor, that's fine. We're just going to be lifting that back leg up. Please don't collapse into the lower back. That's it. Keep drawing up. And we're just working into our hip extension. So from here, we're just going to slowly pulse that right leg back for five. Four. Three. Two. Good. Feel the glutes working. Squeeze that heel in towards the butt. And in the same way now, I want you just to draw a little circle with that right knee. And really try and touch your heel to your butt. We're really trying to actively pull in. Don't collapse the arms now. We're focusing on the legs. Keep pressing up and away. Strong through the back. Focusing into that lower belly. Focusing into that hip flexor. From here, squeeze that heel in. We're going to ripple forward either staying in your full plank or lowering that back, that left knee onto the ground. And from here, all I want you to do is you're going to drop the hips down. Keep that right heel squeezing in. We'll lift back up. And then extend back. Good. And we're going to do this a few more times. Extend forward. Drop the hips. Keep lifting through the chest. And lift back up. And then back. Good. And you do need to put that knee down at any point. You can do the same thing here. Open. Lift. And back. Good. Two more. Ripple forward. Lift. Press up. And back. Last time, ripple forward, lengthen through the front of the chest, squeeze that heel in, really nice, really good. Then draw the knee towards the nerve, flex through the spine, and drop that foot in between the hands. From here, we're just going to lower the back knee down, take a gentle stretch of that hamstring, maybe just rocking back and forth, relieving into that work that we've just felt. And then we're going to shift forward, and we're going to inhale, lift up, taking the hands behind the head. So again, in this same place, we want to feel the engagement of the glutes forward. We're going to begin to just work into some spinal mobility from side to side. So we're going to take a little rotation and rotation to the right and to the left. Just some gentle movements from side to side. Now you might feel quite tight. In this rotation, and you might also feel super wobbly 
into the legs. So don't worry if you are, that's completely fine. But what this is doing is it's making you actively engage into the pelvis so you can't compensate and twist for your pelvis to find that spinal rotation. You're really working through the obliques, from the waist, really nice. Now we're going to add a lateral bend, we're going to rotate towards the right leg, across the body. Now I just want you to start to take some gentle movements from side to side. Really nice. Feel this gentle release. Feel this gentle movement and you might even feel a really strong engagement into the legs here to support this. And that is really important. You're going to keep pulling the lower body in. Don't allow yourself to just collapse. Keep lifting, squeezing into the inner thighs. Fantastic. From here, take your right hand to reach your butt towards that left foot. Feel this opening, maybe even extend the left arm up. And then we're going to start to take maybe some bigger movements. Dropping the arms forward and back. Good. If you feel anything into the lower back at all, I want to lessen the movement. And we just focus on lifting and opening one more time towards the back leg and then release the left arm down, turn the right foot gently out and just open into a little twist here. So we're now opening into the front hip. We're just allowing this nice rotation into the body. Really good. Now from here we're just going to take some gentle swings. So I want you to begin to lengthen that front leg. Touch your left hand and then swing back and maybe squeeze that left foot in. Release and squeeze. Good. Release and squeeze. So by making sure or by pulling, if you can, that left heel in towards the butt, we're making sure that we're not just collapsing here because you're actively engaging into the front of that thigh as well as really working the hamstring and the glute. Good. If it's, in, if it's hurting your knee, pop a block or a cushion underneath the knee joint. Good. Last time, releasing forward, placing both hands onto the ground and just extend that back leg up into a little lizard lunge here. We're just going to slowly begin to try and lengthen and straighten this front leg again. Maintaining a nice length through the back body. Really good. From here, step that right leg back. Ripple forward. Allow yourself to lower all the way down into the ground. Untuck the toes and just take your hands slightly in front of you. From here, we're going to draw the shoulders down the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades in towards the spine. And we're going to slowly lift the chest. Now, if you notice that you're sticking your butt out, or over compressing into the lower back. I want you to push or press the hips down into the floor, collect through the lower belly, and think about squeezing those shoulder blades together. Good. And we're going to release down. Same thing. Lift the chest and drip them down. Good. A few more times. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Wonderful, one more time, lift. Breathe here, energy out through the feet. From this position, I'm going to reach your left arm forward. You're going to place the forearm onto the floor. We're just going to spiral the right arm back. So we're creating a little bit of a rotation here. Really nice. And then when you sit down, right forearm onto the ground, spiral that left arm up and around. And put it down. Good, two more times, spiral. And down. Spiral. And down. Last time, spiral. And down. Spiral. And down. Fantastic, release the whole body down. I then now lift up into a full cobra, shrugging the shoulders back, lifting up through the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lead through the lower back, or press into the tops of the feet, lift up through the hips, energy out through the front of the thighs, up dog, to then shift back into your downward facing dog. And again, lengthen through the heels, lengthen through the back of the legs, pull up through the lower belly, and just begin to send your hips high through the engagement of your shoulders. Fantastic. From here, we're going to lift up through that left leg. Send that right hip 
sorry, send that right heel down to the ground, mm -hmm. lift up through that uh, left thigh. We're just going to pulse for five, four, three, nice and open through the shoulders, two, one. Now squeeze that left heel in, nice and active. So you should feel the hamstring really working here. And we're going to slowly start to circle through that leg. Again, try not to dip into the lower back and collapse into the pelvis. Keep pulling that lower belly up and in, pressing away through the shoulders. Really working here. Good. For two, for one. Fantastic. We're going to do our ripples forward for five. So remember, you can place that knee down if you want. We're going to come into our plank, lower the hips down, keep squeezing that back heel in, lift all the way back and into our down dog. Good. Ripple forward. Lower the hips down, keep lifting that left leg, ripple back, and then we'll lift up. Three more. Ripple forward, squeeze, strong through the upper back, lift, and lower. Then I'm going to do two in a modified way now. Ripple forward, maybe lowering into your cobra, keeping that right leg or that left heel lifted, releasing down, and extend back. Good, last one, ripple forward, lift, up dog cobra, from here, draw the knee all the way to nose, and then step that left foot in between the hands, you know where we're going, we're going to lower that back knee, just going to shift back and forth, really nice, opening up to that left hip flexor, throw the right hip flexor and the left, hamstring, good, really nice. And then from here, we're going to come into that lunge. Good. Tap the back toes so there's an activity into that left, uh, right thigh. Send the right hips forward. So we're engaging to open the front of that hip. Take the hands behind the head. And from here, we're just going to start to rotate around from side to side. Good. Keep this opening into that right hip. I don't want to see any of this not collapsing. Good. Nice rotation. Now from here, turn to face your left leg and slowly beginning to just laterally bend from side to side. And you might feel that one of your sides is a little bit less open or maybe more open than the other. Good. And again, really try not to move too much through the hips. If I spiral around so we can see clearly on the side, we're not allowing ourselves to move through the hips. We're really focusing on just lifting and lengthening through the spine. Good. And then maybe taking that left arm now towards the right heel, reach with extending that right arm high and then lower. Good. Send it across. And then lower. Good. Really trying to keep the arms at shoulder height so I'm not taking it too far over. And lower. Good. Last time. Missing across. Lift through the chest. And then release that hand down. And from here, toe heel that left foot out and move into a little really scissored or hip opener here. Fantastic. And the same thing, so get ready, make sure that you're in a position where you can easily lift that left heel off. If you can't lift the left heel, it's fine. Um, you can just reach the arm back without squeezing the heel up, okay? But keep lifted into the lower belly, that's the most important. We're gonna take that left arm out and up towards the sky. And then from here, I just want you to begin to release over that right hand as you release that left leg straight and then we're going to spiral back around squeeze the heel in towards the butt and maybe reach the hand towards the foot release back touch that left hand uh, that right hand and then spiral back and around two more now actually let's do three more good keep pulling up through the lower belly here keep lifting through the chest fantastic Last one, opening, sending the hips forward, squeezing that right heel in, and then from here, we're going to release the hands down, 
we're going to come back up and into our lizard and from here just slowly extending that front leg out and straight really nice easing into that front leg good from here plant the hands down step back into or through a down dog and we're going to look forward and we're going to lower back down and onto the ground so we're going to take one more variation of our cobra um, and so from here i want to now take the hands slightly out to the sides of the room we're going to shrug the shoulders down and lift the chest up so coming into baby cobra from here reach your right arm long and stay pressing down through your right arm and the left fingers. And slowly from here, sorry, so the, we're gonna peel that left foot off, touch the right hand, and then we pull back. Okay, then we're gonna do that again. We're gonna touch across, and then we pull back. Now, if you can only do this, that's fine, don't worry. I want you to lift as far as you can, okay? So we're just creating a little bit of rotation. Allow that chest to fall down onto the ground and then release it back. And we're actively drawing up through the chest each time you return. So we're lifting back up into this extension, reactivating into the upper back. We have two more. And one more. And then we're going to reverse. So now we're going to release that. Come up onto the fingertips of the opposite hand, release. That left hand flat, peel the right arm up, and we're going to lift, and then we're going to reach and touch that left foot, sorry, the right foot towards the left hand. Lift up, and then release it down. Good. Lift it up, and then release it down. Three more. Keep the lower belly lifted at all times. So we're never feeling this into the lower back. And one more time, lift and lower. Fantastic. And we peel back down. Take your hand underneath your forehead and just slowly release from side to side. Really good. I want you to slowly squeeze the heels in towards the butt one last time. From here, we're going to take the hands either side of the chest. Keep those heels squeezing in. Keep a gentle lift into the front of your thighs. We're going to shrug the shoulders back. We're just going to lift up into a little cobra. Now from here, all I want you to do, I don't want you to think hips ahead. I instead want you to think the hips down, squeeze the elbows in, and just imagine you're trying to touch the toes to the back of your neck. And we're just going to release. And we're going to do this a couple of times. Keeping the legs nice and active, keep lifting through the, uh, lifting through the glutes and lifting through the front of the hips. And then down. Good. So we're never collapsing like this. We're always engaged into the front of those thighs. Good. Two more. Lift up. And then down. Fantastic. Last time. Squeeze. Lift up. Really nice. From here, we're going to maybe take the head back. And then release down. And we're going to do this a few times. Lift up. Squeeze the feet in. And then down. You can release the neck at the last moment. Lift up, squeeze, and down. Last time, lift up, squeeze the legs, breathe. And then send the hips back and bring yourself into the child pose. Good. So the hip flexes, should feel nice and warm. The arms and the upper back should feel nice and engaged. We're just going to counter this now, plant the hand onto the floor. I want you to ripple forward, come into your hands and knees one more time. We're going to press the upper back up, try and round as much as you can. Imagine you're really flexing through the spine now, drawing that chest as high as you can. Good. Really nice. And then from here, slowly shift the weight into the right hand. You need to peel the left arm up. And then really sit down. Same thing here. As you shift, feel now the left, the right shoulder blade. Re release into the spine and then down. Give it a few more times. Draw that shoulder blade back of the upper arm and then down. Press. Release. And then down. Good. One more time. This time maybe try a full circle. And then down. 
Release, press down through that band of hand. Release. And then down. Fantastic. From here, sit back into kneeling. You always take your left arm. So your right arm, we're going to thread it over the top of your left thigh. We're going to lift that left elbow back. We're just going to take an active twist here. If you can, peel that left arm, the right arm up, so you're really reaching through both fingertips. So your left arm is reaching back, your right arm is reaching up, and then release. Here we're going to opposite, take the left hand across the right thigh, open through that, uh, the right shoulder, reach the right arm back, actively rotate here, and then draw that left arm up and round. So you're really trying to maintain a neutral position to the pelvis here. Good, and release. Fantastic. Full shrug of the shoulders, and back. Draw the shoulders together, and back. A few more. Just easing into the spine. Wonderful. And then the other way. Drawing back, and in. Drawing back, and in. Drawing back, and in. Good, plant the hands down. Tuck the toes. Take a little active malasana so you can stay on to the toes or you can round to the heels. We're just going to release the head down towards the floor, feeling this wonderful length through the spine. This lift through the lower belly, reach the arms out, walk the hands back towards the feet, and from here try and keep the thighs as close to the abdominals as possible. Draw your hips high, just take a gentle uh, sway from side to side. Really nice. Maybe moving into a full forward, forward fold with Tanasana. Making sure you're lifting through the lower belly, releasing that head down, or bending through the knees, lifting all the way up, and releasing out into a standing position, giving a nice wiggle or a release through the spine. And there you have it, a nice spinal mobility sequence.